Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you the kind of process of us packing up the flat, moving um, and unpacking the flat tour which I um, showed you basically where I used to live, where I've moved out of now just because that's kind of the safest way to have done it then um, just because I did take pictures outside of where I lived on my Instagram so that's just the way I've done it. Um, and I'm, I'm going to do a separate video of this house tour and then a house like it'll be a before and after basically some from so from like empty and then obviously with all our stuff in it um but yeah you'll see all of that in this video you also see me now and obviously at the end of the video exactly where I am exactly in the same clothes just because I'm filming this all after everything has happened so um we've been here for a week now and haven't got around to filming an intro and outro um but I just wanted to put, be a bit more put together when I filmed it, um, just to make this a little bit more put together, I guess. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. I really miss filming videos. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you all up in maybe not the next video, but maybe the video after, but we will see. But yeah, let's get into it. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I would have filmed an intro to this video I know I'm looking very very rough right now so I probably wouldn't have filmed the intro today but I am starting my kind of like moving kind of vlogish thing don't really know what to call it but I'm, I'm starting to pack um and I'm kind of just currently doing my clothes and bits that I don't really wear anymore so this is what everything is looking like so I've got all of like my summer stuff in here because obviously we are going into spring but this is pure summer stuff and just stuff I don't really wear, special occasion stuff. Um, and I've got in boxes. So this is what my wardrobe looks like. Obviously that one needs to go away but there's boxes in the other room that are full of things that are just like sentimental stuff that doesn't really get put in my room anyway. So that's all packed away. Um, I don't really know what else to show you, so I think I'm just going to pick up the my phone when, as and when I have stuff to show. I think I've probably been the worst at like filming this whole process, um, like packing and everything, just because I always forget to pick up my phone um, and record what I'm doing, because I normally just do it when I've got the time, now I'm back at work. So I'll just show you like the process so far and what we've done so far. Oh, you can see the bedroom is a mess anyway, I need to make the bed, but um, I've taken everything out from underneath my bed, only kept the shoes that I'm going to be wearing. Um, I've cleared out this area, so it all just looks like a mess. I'm watching This Is Us on Amazon Prime, definitely recommend that. Um, but this all used to be in a makeup, in a set of makeup drawers, and I've just left out the essential bits. A few snacks there, obviously that's essential. Um obviously move my mirrors just to make sure everything's all in one place and then that's all Max's stuff and then I've just got out the clothes that I wear to work and a few bits um, that I'm going to wear on the moving day and a few bits that I wear if we're going to go out or whatever but my wardrobe is now all pretty much taken down this doesn't come apart so we're going to have to move that as it is so this used to be my old room and since I moved into the other room, this has kind of been the storage room where we've just put everything that we are taking to move. It's not going in the garage. Just an easy place to store everything. So I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the carnage at the moment. It's quite a lot. It's nearly full. There's only like this area that I'm stood in that's left in here. But these, this is a coat rack that we're just putting all our coats on for now that we're probably going to take with us. All the spare boxes. Um pictures we've taken down the drawers for my wardrobe garden bits clothes most of my boxes are full of clothes I haven't got really haven't really got much other than clothes all my stuff is basically just clothes anyway I've got my studio lights my ring light there rug that we're not taking with us all these suitcases are full of clothes and over there are just odd bits and bobs sentimental pieces that just go in the garage anyway and then some cutlery and stuff and new bedding bits and I think everyone knows this by now, obviously, but it's so, so important to write on the boxes of what's in there and whose box it is and what room it's intended to go in, if there's a room it's intended to go in, just because it makes it so much easier for moving day and just to put things where they're supposed to go from the get-go, um, makes unpacking really easy too. 
Um, and then if you need anything whilst it's not being unpacked, you know what box it's in because they're all labelled. Um, but yeah, we've got loads of plastic ones which are really good for heavier things and then we've got obviously a lot of cardboard boxes. I'm super excited um, to move. We're moving into a really nice house um, from a flat so it's going to be quite nice to have the garden for the summer. Um, but yeah, this isn't a permanent thing but I'll probably speak about that in a different video. But yeah, it's been really weird the packing process because I've not really moved properly before. I moved here when I was like... 14 um but i didn't really come with any of my stuff so uh and this time i have my own money to move so i can buy the stuff that i want to buy and also i have think something to say as well like you know you're getting older when you get excited for a new mattress i've not had a new mattress in i don't know well i can't even remember me and my mum paid for a new mattress for me um which i'm really thankful for and i can't wait to lie on it getting a new bed, I'm getting a new mattress, got new pillows, got a new duvet, just need some new bedding. Um, I'm going to be sleeping on my mattress on the floor for a while because the bed doesn't arrive for a little bit, but that'd be fine. If I got a new mattress, I'm sure it was very, very comfy when I tried it out in the store. Um, it's from Dreams, um, but yeah, I'll show you everything when we're in the new house. Um, I'm keeping my bedside tables. Obviously, they're really messy at the moment, but I'm keeping these bedside tables and the wardrobe but i'm getting a new bed a new tv unit um and over time i will get other new bits and pieces but i can't afford to get everything all at once so i'll just get it as i go um but yeah i'm super excited it's a really weird feeling to be moving though because i'm quite anxious and nervous um and it's really weird to be filming like this again because i um didn't film for three weeks one of the reasons was i couldn't really put makeup on because i was taking apart that clothing rail that I, I showed you and um, the pole, literally, I shoved it right into my chin. You can kind of see the mark there. It's still quite painful, but yeah, it's healed and I can put makeup on now, so I feel way more comfortable filming. But I won't pick the camera up, I don't think, until the weekend, so I'll see you then. I'm actually laid in bed, laid? Laid in bed now. I've had my laser treatment on my finger again, that's what this is. My skin is breaking out. Not sure why, I have to wear a visor at work. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, I've got my mattress just there, I think you can see. That's a new mattress. Um, I'm watching YouTube, but you can hear that. Um, and my bed's been taken apart, so I'm just on a mattress on the floor. So we've got two more nights here, um, which is super, super weird. But um, yeah, it's pretty much empty. I'll show you the flat and give you kind of like a flat tour now we're moving. Um, tomorrow maybe but yeah it's super super weird i'm probably gonna say about the state of me in this whole video but um literally we are a few hours away from moving it's the night before we've been in the house moving things all day i was at work this morning but this is what my room is looking like so this is obviously the wardrobe i'm completely taken apart it's just got the bits we've got for tomorrow my two bedside tables, and it's only got a little bit left in for tomorrow. Max's work stuff that he needs to go through. All the stuff I need for tomorrow and stuff that's been taken and just... My TV's been taken apart. Bed on the floor with, like, hardly any pillows. Um, but yeah, super, super weird to be here doing all of this, like, moving. Um, yeah, it's suddenly started to feel real that we actually are moving. Not that it wasn't before, but yeah. I'm really tired, I'm really out of breath, I'm really ready to go to bed. So it's Saturday the 1st of May and it's moving day. It was super nice weather this morning but it's now about to rain. But I'll show you what it's looking like. We've done a few, well, we've done one trip in the car and the van. <laughs> um, that was just Max outside with the, my wardrobe um, in the new house. I think I've shown a bit of that as well.
I'm very much aware that I look very red and sweaty. That's because I am. Um, we are, it's about four o'clock now. Um, I think they're doing the last load to come here um, with my brother who's helping and my sister-in-law. Um, Max is also there with them. I decided to stay here and get some of the boxes in the right places, um, or trying to anyway. But it's up and down stairs with heavy boxes so i'm getting as much done as possible but you know there's only so much i can do i'm also wearing max's top because i can't get any of my clothes and this is the first thing i found so i put this on instead of my hoodie I, um so yeah i'll show you what it's looking like now so the fridge freezer's in here got a few boxes a few more boxes there <sighs> there's i'm not used to stairs i've lived in a flat for too long but this is my room, this is what it looks like. Most of my boxes are closed. That's a few bits that um, I had last night that I just put in this bag. Um, this is my new mattress. Uh, it's a pocket sprung and memory foam mattress, my new anti-allergy duvet, some dormer full forever pillows. Um, so we're gonna have a good night's sleep tonight, but I'm exhausted. I'm gonna try to get into the flat to take a kind of tour of the flat and then the clips I got of this house I may be doing a different video on but we'll see it depends you might have already seen it and um, this tap this tap this top is really not flattering on me but yeah um it might be included in this it might not but we'll see but for now I think that's it um until everything's in here might catch up with you tomorrow might not but you'll see depending <laughs> so this is our old front door and as you go in this is where our hallway was all our jackets were hung up on here a window thing with the electrics in and then that's to the living room this was my old room and um, there's just clothes on there now and that's that and then this was the living room And then into my mum's room, that's all the stuff I get yet to pick up. Massive windows. And then you walk straight through and here's the kitchen. Obviously that's a bit dirty because it's got had the um, cooker and the, everything else in it. And then obviously this is the living room and you come through and this was my room when I moved rooms. Um, this was also my brother's room. And that other one was my brother's room at 1.2. Um, this is it all empty. And then another hallway. There was the kind of like air and cupboard and stuff. And then the shower. And that was basically the flat floor. There's really not much to say any more about it or like that was just what the rooms look like if you're interested um a part of the, just to be a part of this video um and obviously that's where you would have seen me when i first started my youtube in this room um which is super weird to be leaving i think this is probably the last time i'll be here i don't think you'll see me here again um so that's really really weird and quite sc it's quite a scary thought but i'm excited to leave leave all the issues with this flat and go. But yeah, um, I hope that was interesting enough for you. I'm not sure if I showed what the house is looking like at the moment. I probably will show you a bit later, but this is what my room is looking like at the moment. It's a massive pigsty. Um, I'm putting the clothes up at the moment. Just got loads of boxes and then my bed on the floor and then the what I'm putting up there. I hope you enjoyed all of that. It is obviously now a week since we have moved, so a week since all of that was filmed, and maybe more from parts of it. But yeah, as I said, I'm going to 
make sure to do a house tour and like a before and after house tour as well um in the same video that should be my next video but we'll see depending on how things happen um i'm aware i'm using my hands a lot but when i talk that's just what i do um so yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a massive thumbs up and watch it down there subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one